Welcome to the channel. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to say something. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, but welcome to the channel. I am out painting. No, I'm not going to film much of that because ain't nobody likes to paint or they sure don't like to watch it. But I'll show you what I got so far. Got the tops painted. Yeah. Painted on both sides underneath that little lip. That'll be covered in black so you won't see it. Got this painted. As you can see, same color as the cabin. All right, I'm ready to go to black. I'm gonna go over this again maybe and see if there's any thin spots. Uh, it's just painting, man. And uh, we're gonna go to the black now. That is gonna make it go. Pop! You'll see, it's all gonna come together. And then after the painting's done, uh, next time I'm in Fort Smith, I'm not going to make a special trip, but I'll get the one by 4s that go across. That will make it stand out really good. And so, not going to probably be a long video today, but just want to show you what's going on. The dogs, I don't know where they are. Oh, there's, there's Tilly out on the deck. I guess I might have to tear all that other stuff around it down and leave the deck for them. It's a good shady spot for them. But sometime this week, probably tomorrow, I'm going to have to begin on this weed eating. It's usually two or three days worth. Yeah, I don't look forward to it. It's really growing fast this year because we've had the rain and it hasn't been too terribly hot. Their yard, man. Look what the flood did to their yard. That's bad. That's how much water was under there. It was over all that grass. All right. I ain't getting anything done sitting here yakking. I'll be back. Now, here's a sneak peek of the painting. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. You want another one? Pretty good, ain't it? That's all you're going to get to see to the end. Let me get this thing out. I just come up the steps, man. Give me a second. Okay, it's going pretty good. I got the whole front painted. Well, technically it's the back, but it's the back of the front. Or is it the front? I don't know. Woo, wearing your hands out, man. It's a good thing I'm amber luscious. I can use either my right or my left. Yep, never used to be that way, but it is now. Who's coming? Yeah, oh, you don't believe me? Look it up in that Lester's Dictionary. Man, what's the point of being educated if I gotta explain everything to you guys? Amberlicious, look it up in Lester's Dictionary. All right, I'm gonna get back at it. Just ain't a whole lot to film. I've got Alexa playing down below. Mm-hmm, I was doing good. They was playing some ACDC, some Metallica. Yeah, some Guns N' Roses, and then Bruce Springsteen came on and I had to stop, man. I can't stand that guy. Sounds like a scalded cat. People buy tickets to watch him. Not me. He's a big old crybaby. I don't think anybody in the South listens to him. All right, man. Enough ranting. I'm going to get back to work. All right. Making good progress. Let's take a look at what I got so far. Of course, we got that. Boy, that's bright. And there's the railings. Now I still got to get on the ladder and go on the other side here. Because I'm not a contortionist, man. I can't get all that. I probably could have. But that would mean getting on my knees, and I ain't getting on my knees. So, got all that painted. Definitely gives it a new look. Now what I'm going to do is, after this dries a while, I'm going to go caulk. All the spots that have spaces in it, like there, up there, get those filled in, and that'll make it look much better. Looks pretty good, I think. And paint either covers things up or it brings them out. And I've got a bow in that right there. I can't stand it, but I'm going to see if I can't let loose on some of the screws there. Maybe shim that. Give it more fun. It doesn't show up on the level. I'm seeing it. It's probably because I put the cup side up. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to take a bit of a break. 
and uh, finish this thing up today. Let's go down there. Let's talk about these puppies for a minute. You've been in this chair all day, and it's a nice day. You don't want to go out? Look at you getting fur all over my pillows. I don't know about you. I'm just sitting here in front of the fan that's under the air, in the air conditioning. I think you're the smartest of us both. I do. I'm out there painting. Doesn't that sound like fun to you? What I thought. All right, let's go over here to these little old pow, paw pounders. What you guys doing? <laughs> I went in there earlier today. Spent about a half an hour in there with them. Boy, did they love that. I just haven't been spending the time I should, but... Yeah. Well, you, you always got to have your mug up there, Willie, and dirty nose. Yeah, you're changing colors is what it is. You're changing into brown. But you guys are just knocking each other. All right. Here's the situation with the puppies. All right, I'll just let you look at them while I talk. They are scheduled to go for a spay and neuters on May 30th. Okay. So that part's scheduled. They're probably close to 14 weeks now. And uh, I'm going to get out of this sun. And we'll go back to you guys. So anyway, the rescue told me that up north they're just they're not adopting them like normal because of the economy go figure yep so she don't know when they're going to be able to go out so here's what i want to do i know there was a few of you guys who were interested in a couple of them and uh ain't gonna hurt nobody's feelings if somebody wants one uh they're gonna go ahead and and if you want one i'll just go ahead and reimburse the rescue for the spay or the neuter or you can do that if you want the puppy. They get it done pretty cheap. So, I mean, it would cost me $1,000 to spay and neuter them. I think they pay a, not even half that. So, with that said, if anybody's interested in a puppy, now I'm not letting them go to just anybody. You gotta have a good home. You gotta own your home. I don't, I don't give puppies to any anybody that rents. There are specific reasons for that. Uh, prime example them over there that just moved away didn't take their dog with them don't know what happened to it though but that's what i'm saying that always happens when people rent you know unless you've been there 15 years or something like that you know in, in different places there's different situations but if you've been renting for 15 years there you must be in new york city or something because yeah i couldn't see that but anyway they are available they're available uh just get with me, send the email. If you go to my about page, you will see the email um, button. You got to click it and it's going to do the CAPTCHA thing, you know, to make sure that you're a human and shoot me an email. Now I did get the letter from, uh, I think it was Holly e Ellie. She told me about a rescue in Connecticut that's here or that takes them to Connecticut. That's also here in Arkansas. So I passed that information on to the other rescue. So they're going to probably work together. Uh, but she said she's got dogs sitting in, you know, places for since August. So it's, they're not moving them. So I'm really needing to get them home. They, that's not good for them to be in there like that. I don't like it. I can't possibly let them out and let them run around because there's a highway. So if you can help me, if you're still interested, I know there was a few of you interested, maybe Oreo, but they're all good dogs. They're all smart. They're, they're good dogs. And it would be awesome if we could get them all homes and i'm also going to put the the rescues link or their email or whatever in the description if y'all want to send them a donation that helps out a lot i mean they got to provide medications food all kinds of things and it's not cheap to run a rescue you're always asking for money for donations i know i've been there uh so I'll put that down if you're interested in giving them a few bucks that would help them so and the name of the rescue is furry tails rescue i'll make sure that information is in the description so all right let's look at it from down here see don't have to do much just the outside there i already painted underneath it so all i gotta do is go around the outside and then we'll be done with the painting paint those posts i can't wait to get those painted all right let me get busy 
Well, I didn't know where you was all day. Where have you been? Hiding somewhere? I think you're getting under that deck. Are you still a little jumpy? You, well, I don't know why. Guess you always will be, huh? Look how nice you look. Yeah. Good girl. Go on about your business. Whatever it is you do. All right. That didn't take too long to be outside. Didn't think it would. All right, don't peek. Don't peek. We're gonna get back here. Oh, beautiful weather today. Now it was about a year ago, about this time, I started this project. And there it is, guys. I think it looks good. I like those posts painted black. Been looking at them forever. Now you can see the whole. I gotta find the socket to pull those lag, get them lag bolts to pull them in more. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do the caulk and touch up day. That lower plate needs a, another coat of tan. So come on over here. I even painted the bottom of the Starlink pole. Yeah. Looks pretty good. But I see I gotta paint the bottoms of that rail. That's gonna suck. How am I gonna get anything in there? I'll figure it out. Alright, there's some spots I need to touch up, but overall, there she is. And it's still gonna look better when I put the boards on, on the cross of it. On the cross of it. On the face there. Whatever. Alright. And I think I'm gonna paint the underneath like I did there, black of the long one that go the 2x12 I'm gonna paint the bottom of that black too just not now I'm about had it with painting today so there we go I appreciate it guys <sighs> wasn't much of a video I know I ain't gonna film painting it's so boring but it's a video I like to document this build all the way to the end and man we're getting there Let's put a little more trim on it and then we're gonna move on to the trim on the dog apartment. I gotta get that old dog house out of there. That has to go. That thing's about ready to fall apart. We'll trim this out, get that eave fixed, get that fixed. Oh, you know, all the regular Moreau that I normally tell you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.